Welcome to Get Sleepy, where we listen, we relax, and we get sleepy. I'm your host, Thomas. Tonight's episode is an opportunity to truly let go of the cares and worries of the world and simply relax with some self-care. We'll visit a hidden gem in a big city that takes us away from the hustle and bustle, a rooftop spa where relaxation and calm await. Before we begin tonight's story and enjoy the tranquility of the rooftop spa, let's take some time to get settled. Close your eyes and follow your body's cues to find a comfortable position. If you need to move the pillow or adjust the sheets and blankets, Feel free to do that now. Your comfort in this moment is your only priority. Now, let's practice a moment of mindfulness together. To do that, we'll just focus on the present moment, with intention and without judgment. Start by taking a deep breath in through the nose. And then letting it out through the nose or mouth. As you breathe in again, feel the way the air travels in through your nose. And the way your body relaxes onto the bed as you exhale. Sense the areas of contact between your body and the mattress. And as you exhale, feel yourself sink even deeper into the comfort of your bed. This simple practice can ease your mind and body into a calmer state and can ground you if you're ever feeling lost or chaotic. Just focusing on your breaths and how you feel as you do them is mindful. Intention without judgment. So, let's turn that focus now onto our imaginations. Our story begins on a quiet street in a big city, a little while after sunset. The street lamps glow with a warm yellow light. Although you're in a large city, you can still just about detect the familiar hum of crickets beneath the urban soundscape. There are the distant sounds of traffic and people making their way along other streets heading to dinner before a late night show or just out for an evening stroll. But the side street you're on is quiet. A car passes by every now and then, but for the most part, you've only seen a handful of people walking their dogs or on their way to more bustling avenues. In front of you 
a tall building with a glass facade stretches up towards the darkening sky. Passing clouds overhead are illuminated by the lights of the city, which paint them in shades of white, amber, pink, and even blue in some places. For a moment, you turn your back to the building and look to the skyline beyond your street. The city sprawls out around you on all sides. Little lights twinkle on and off as people come and go, from the office, back home, or maybe to visit a friend. Those working the night shift are just starting their day. You see a few lights flicker on in skyscrapers in the distance, just as others dim. There's always so much life and vitality in a city, you think. It's invigorating in a way, knowing there are thousands of other people out there living their lives just as you are. Although you only know a handful of people here, you feel connected to everyone sharing this part of your life's journey with you, even from afar. With a sigh of contentment, you turn back to the building whose glass reflects the lights of the city and the night sky with its ethereal clouds. There is no sign to mark the reflective surface in front of you, just a number. You found the address almost by accident. It was written on a flyer affixed to a street lamp with tearaway tabs hanging off the bottom, advertising a place enticingly called the Rooftop Spa. With no other plans set for this evening, you figured it would be the perfect time to come and see this curious place for yourself. The door is made of mirrored glass. Although you can tell there are lights on within the building, you can't see anything but your own reflection and that of the city behind you. A long, polished metal bar serves as a handle. There's no time like the present, you tell yourself, and you reach out your hand and gently push open the door. The soothing glow of warm white lighting greets you as the glass door swings inward. You step inside, letting the door close softly behind you. For a moment, you stand still and take in your surroundings as your eyes adjust to the light after the darkness of night outside. You seem to be standing in an elegant lobby. There are a few plants in large white ceramic pots on either side of the door. Each plant has tall, fern-like leaves that add a charming touch of green to an otherwise white and cream-colored space. Ahead of you is a bank of elevators. Each one is decorated with gold trim. The same shiny gold also colors the buttons to push for going up or down, and the light fixtures overhead. 
as far as you can tell, there's nothing else here in the lobby. No reception desk, no hallways leading to other places. Just the elevators and you. The floor is marble, and your footsteps echo lightly as you make your way towards the nearest lift. You consider for a moment before pressing the button with the arrow pointing up. You are going to the rooftop spa after all. Within seconds, a delicate chiming noise lets you know the gleaming white doors will be opening soon. When they do, they reveal a glass elevator within, trimmed with gold. Everything shines as though it's all been recently polished. You step inside and turn to face the panel of buttons. At the very top, you find one marked with the simple letter R. Elegant engraving beside it reads Rooftop Spa. You push it gently and hear the same delicate chime before the doors close. With only a whisper as it engages, the glass lift begins whisking you up to the topmost floor. As it carries you higher at an easy pace, you are given the chance to fully appreciate how this building was designed. The transparent paneling provides the perfect view through the glass exterior of the building itself. You watch, mesmerized, as the city spreads out beneath you, its lights twinkling on to the horizon. This long after sunset, you see there's only the faintest glimmer of the evening sun in the far distance a deep orange-blue that's fading to black as night takes hold. Looking up above the spires and towers of the city, above the apartments, shops, billboards and office towers, you see a night sky dotted with twinkling stars. A few long, lingering clouds drift slowly over the city, reflecting its light back to it as they pass. The view is truly spectacular. With every floor you ascend, you can see more of the city. Taxis and other vehicles grow smaller as you climb until they're just multicolored specks far below. Traffic lights and illuminated signboards look more like fairy lights from up here, so small they could decorate a window at home. You glide upwards as though you're going to meet the stars, until the elevator slows to an easy halt. The delicate chime sounds again. When the doors open this time, you find yourself in an elegant waiting area. Each corner of the room is decorated with large, leafy plants, like the ones downstairs. A few hanging vines grace the walls behind them. 
on one side you see a check-in desk. In the same fanciful script engraved inside the lift, you see the name, the rooftop spa, emblazoned in gold on the front of it. The wall behind the desk is covered from floor to ceiling in a stunning waterfall fountain. Curtains of water stream down the glass into a small pool at the bottom. For a moment, you close your eyes and take in the quiet flow of the water. The sound of the fountain puts your mind at ease. You take a deep breath in, welcoming the newfound sense of calm into your body, and then let it out, feeling refreshed. When you open your eyes again, you see that there is now someone standing behind the desk to greet you. She smiles at you warmly and invites you to come over. You tell her about finding the address of the spa and how the name made you curious to come and see what it has to offer. Many people end up here that way, she tells you. It's somewhat of a hidden gem, she adds, saying that she's glad you found your way here tonight. She explains that there are many offerings, but the one she always recommends to newcomers is the Starlight Special. You'll have time to enjoy one of the best rooms here at the spa, and end with a dip in the pool under the stars. It sounds perfectly relaxing, you tell her. She hands you a robe and some complimentary slippers, then points you to a hall on the left. That's where you'll begin once you're ready, she says. You thank her for her time, and with a contented smile, make your way down the hall. The first door leads you to a changing room. You put on the robe, which is unbelievably soft and snugly. It has large pockets and a deep hood, which you pull up and rub gently against your cheeks, enticing a satisfied smile to cross your face. Sliding the hood back down again, you step into the matching slippers, which are the perfect size. Then you sit down on a simple yet elegant bamboo bench. It looks as if it's been made from a single piece of wood, bent and carved into just the right shape. You follow the lines of the bench in your mind, considering how it might have been made, and feel your mind drifting into restful thoughts, lingering concerns from the day have evaporated in the tranquil environment of this place. Now your mind is open to curiosity and creative tangents. It's as though your mind and body both have a chance to breathe in and out, in and out. 
without rushing to keep pace with a busy day. As you breathe, you notice the soothing scent of lavender in the air, bringing with it a wave of relaxation that spreads throughout your body. You feel your eyes closing as you focus on the gentle scent. You are fully present in this moment, in these surroundings, here at the rooftop spa. Soon, you hear the sound of quiet footsteps in the hall and open your eyes. The woman who greeted you earlier has returned to take you to the first spa room. You stand up from the bamboo bench and follow her down the hall. She turns right, guiding you to a dimly lit room on the left. Once your eyes have adjusted to the lower lighting, she ushers you into an adjoining room that takes your breath away. Two entire walls of the room are made of glass. You can almost see the whole city from up here. At its center is a hot tub with bubbling jets. The water has been scented with lavender, which is carried by the steam throughout the room. A narrow bamboo path leads from the doorway to the tub, but the most striking part of the room is the glittering display of candles. Hundreds of white pillar candles decorate the floor. Their flames flicker and dance, reflecting in the glass and mirroring the lights of the city outside. Looking up, you see the ceiling is made of mirrored glass creating the illusion of stars twinkling in the night sky with every candle flame. For as long as you'd like, this room is yours, she tells you. You gaze in awe at the candlelit scene and then thank her before she leaves the room. You make your way down the bamboo path between rows and rows of glimmering candles. The way each flame moves slightly differently from all the rest reminds you of fireflies blinking in the night. At the end of the path is the tub which is perfectly square. It's raised off the ground and lined on the outer edge with bamboo slats that serve as benches should you want to take a break from the tub. The calming scent of lavender is strong here, but not overpowering. If you close your eyes, you can imagine you're standing in a field of lavender bushes, swaying in a midsummer breeze. But soon, the steam and gentle sound of the jets bring you out of your reverie and back to the present moment. You take a deep breath in, feeling the way the fragrant air enters your nose, and then 
exhale, detecting the complexities of the aroma as it mixes with the steam. Now you're ready to step in. You rest for a moment on the bamboo bench along the edge, before slowly dipping your feet into the tub. Warmth spreads through your whole body as soon as the bubbling, frothing water touches the soles of your feet. Not wanting to rush the process, you dangle your feet just at the top of the water, feeling the bubbles roil and churn beneath your toes. Then you calmly lower your feet into the water, first the soles, then your toes and heels, all the way up to your ankles. You shift your weight on the bench until the water reaches your shins and calves. And finally, you decide the time has come. You lower yourself completely into the tub, giving in to the clear, lavender-scented water as it surrounds and supports your body. After a few moments, you shift until the jets are gently massaging your lower back and shoulder blades. With every stream of bubbles and hot water, you feel your muscles loosen and relax. Once you're settled, you gaze out through the glass at the city below. Skyscrapers look down over apartment blocks, which tower above parks filled with bushy-looking trees that glow silver in the moonlight. The cars move in streams of headlights and taillights, white and red as they crisscross the busy streets. Up above, light from the city sets the sky aglow, though you can still see a wonderful collection of stars peeking out from behind the wayward clouds, drifting across the nighttime expanse. For a while, you get lost in the tranquility of this moment. You aren't sure how long you spend in the bubbling hot tub, watching the city sparkle down below. But eventually, you feel you could move on to another part of the spa. It's warm in this tub, and something cooler might be nice to finish off your relaxing evening. You climb out of the hot tub and wrap your soft robe around you, snuggling down into its fuzzy embrace. Soon, the woman from the desk returns. The last experience of the night will be happening outside, she says with a smile. It's an intriguing thought, and you're excited to see where you're going next. She leads you out of the candlelit room, and down another hallway. At the end of the hall, she pushes a long metal bar to open a glass door. You follow her through the door 
and onto the rooftop. There's a light breeze out here that makes you grateful for your warm, snuggly robe and matching slippers. It isn't too cold, though. It's perfect for this kind of night. She continues on past wicker armchairs, decorated with plump cushions, past a handful of plants in the same white ceramic pots, and past a couple of daybeds, perfect for lounging out here in the afternoon. She stops in front of the most stunning swimming pool you've ever seen. It's an infinity pool that gives swimmers the illusion of being right at the edge of the roof. And of all the places you've seen tonight, it has the very best view of the city. Again, you're welcome to use it for as long as you'd like, she tells you, before heading back inside. You thank her for all her kind hospitality, and then turn back to the pool. It's glowing a striking turquoise blue, with soft lights shimmering underneath the water. First, you dip your toe in to check the temperature. The pool is heated, so you don't have to worry about getting chilly up here on the roof. You take your time getting in, using a set of shallow stairs that lead down into the wading area. At the bottom of the steps, the water only comes up to your waist, so you decide to move to a deeper area. Soon, you're able to float. You bring your legs up underneath you and do a few lazy swells with your feet before lying back and floating with your eyes facing the sky. It is filled with so many stars tonight, it would be impossible to count them all even if you floated here for hours. Instead, you find a few of your favorite constellations and watch the way the clouds drift in front of them on the gentle breeze. The warm water holds you like a cozy blanket as you drift across the surface of the pool, letting the gentle current take you where it will. You focus your mind on the way the water laps against your back, and the familiar scent of the pool and the steam rising from it in the night air. You focus on the stars and the clouds, the temperature and the many sensations on your skin. In this moment, you are grateful for all of the beauty that surrounds you. For the pool, the sky, and the city itself. And in your mind, you say a few words of kindness to yourself. After all, it was you 
who found this location and made the decision to try something new tonight. It can be easy to underestimate the power of small decisions, but tonight you feel gratitude for them and for the way they have led you to this wonderfully calming and centering place. This gratitude fills your mind with a sense of peace and tranquility. Your heart is full and open, once again feeling how interconnected you are with every other person in this city. This place is part of your life's journey now, as are all of the people bringing the city to life tonight. You find your balance and sit up, paddling closer to the far end of the infinity pool. Here you rest your head on your arms and gaze out at the city and the stars in the night sky. You're welcome to stay here for as much time as you desire, and can head home to bed when you're ready for sleep. But for now, you'll enjoy the calming view and the feeling of the warm water around you. You are completely at peace, here at the rooftop spa.